Nigeria is not fair to me, cries Oji Kalu at the Senate Valedictory Service. Hello everyone, welcome to News for TV. As we all know, a few hours ago, the 9th National Assembly, you know, decided to do a valedictory service, which of course will usher in the new lawmakers into the esteemed chamber. One of the people that has made the limelight in the last few hours is Oji Kalu, who shed tears as he stated how unfair his country, Nigeria, has been so unfair to him. Senator Oji Uzokalu broke down in tears while speaking at the night's Senate valedictory session held at the National Assembly. On June 10th, while speaking at the ceremony, Kalu, who served as the Senate's chief whip and represented Abia North and the House, recounted how he was treated politically, especially by those he helped build, and the People's Democratic Party PDP that he spent his money to nurture. Stressing that this country is not fair to some, the former Abia State Governor said, Before I came into politics, I could buy anything money can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison know the reason. They took over my businesses and wanted to kill me, yet I survived it and I'm in the Senate with you. I have never lacked while I was in the People's Democratic Party PDP, where I served for two terms as governor. I brought the money that they used in forming that party every penny in 1997 and 1998, and I later became a thief. People I gave transport money from my house in VI, Victoria Island, became agents. This is what Nigeria represents. Thank you for giving me these four years of interrupted support. This country is not fair to me at all. Mm. So those are the heavy words of Senator Oji Uzokalu. Let's take some comments. Somebody said, breakfast served hot. Another said, can you imagine this man? So you are right not to support an evil man, not to be president. What you did to Peter Obitu is unfair. Another said, now now he no. When he was supporting APC and their Muslim Muslim tickets because he wanted to be Senate president. Now he, I don't clear. The truth is Nigeria would never be fair to the evils. Even the good we do will be seen as bad. My advice to we evils, find way to survive and be happy. Don't put them out in what they do with their Nigeria. One day we'll have our own country. Another said, A man who can sell his brother to a buyer will not get respect from that buyer, bridge builder in the mud. Another said, This is shameless. Crying like a baby now. Same man that said it's not the turn of evil man to be president, but crying for the turn of evil senate president. Betrayer of a man. Same crying to his knees like a slave in the hands of Fulani. Let them kick him out and we the people of South East is in support of his rejection to become Senate President. It's better for his South South to be there than this betrayer of a man called Ojikalu, God bless Nigeria. Another said, He who tr sold his brother can never be trusted by the buyer. You never see anything. As long as there's one Nigeria, they will never allow the Igbos to take any reasonable offense. I think this is an oath between the two other ethnic groups, and you all Igbo politicians were taking peanuts from them and holding on a worthless promise. And now I go still clear. I advise Igbo youths to come out in a clean state and go into politics and fight for their regional rights. As you do that, make sure you have a clean track record like Peter Obi. Another said, cry and fill it up. That's the repercussions you get when you sell your tribesman for tea and bread. That's the repercussion you get when you supported Ahmed Lawal from Northern Region to be president even after eight years of Buari, who is a northern, Northerner too. Only Gen Z doesn't know that Ojikalu is one of the benefactors of oil subsidy contracts and IBB made him a billionaire when he was 25 years. That's my point. By the time they finally destroy and make Nigeria politics dirty, it will definitely backfire on them. Now he's crying because they have politically barricaded him from contesting for Senate president. Soon it will hit all those politicians that supported APC to play thuggery and dirty politics. 
Rotimi Amechi has been left behind. Now Oji, Uzo, who's next? Another said, Aside its political affiliations, Nigeria will experience a revolution soon. The Igbo elites have come to terms with reality over this past election. 1. Obona Ono. 2. Rochas. 3. Oji Uzo Kalu. 4. Uma Juba. 5. Rotimi Amechi. They will not keep quiet and watch. Nigeria is setting themselves up. Another said the people mentioned are betrayers, so make them swallow their bitter pill. Another said you were supposed to lead morning devotion with other inmates for prison. Another said, but Oji worked hard in his first tenure as the Abia State Governor. He did. He and Tinubu were the best governors in 1999 to 2003. Another said, is it not the same man that said Igbos aren't entitled to anything? This karma came faster than expected. The Senate president should go to other regions. We, we Igbo will wait till whenever, as Oji Uzokalu said, let him cry out river. That's his cup of tea. Another said, pathetic excuse of a man. You have, seen, you have not seen anything yet. Is Fulani done with you now? Another said, when you sell your brother, even the buyer will not trust you. Another person said, oh, I believe him because he's crying. Another said, he never stole anything. He only sold his brother and thought the buyers would be fair to him. Now you're saying the country isn't fair. Sir, you should just say the cabals you sold your brother to are not fair. That's the right word, sir. Another said, crocodile tears, all I can tell you is let the poor breathe. Another said, you sold your brother and expect the buyer to trust you. If I catch you without your stupid tears, eh, they play. Another said, Oga, keep quiet. You are one of the problems in Abia State. Anyone listening to you now will think you are truly innocent. Another said, Omo, I no go hear anything where this man won't talk. You are one of the reasons Abia is the way it is today. Another said, he go cry blood. Who cares? That's why, that's what you get when you turn your back on your people. Well, we are in court, so all this one are distractions. Eyes on the judiciary. Another said, Mr. Cry me a river. You never see anything yet. If Nigeria is not fair on people like you, then what do people like us say? Another said, the audacity of the Nigerian corrupt and thiefing politicians needs to be studied by psychologists worldwide. Another said, now you feel the hate. No matter how close you think you are to them, they will never accommodate you. No that and no peace. Now I feel bad for him because he tried for his people as a senator. Another said, what goes around surely does come around. Never betray your brother just for a pot of pottage. Another said, it was right when he said it's not the turn of the evils. Now he's crying because they said it's not the turn of the evils. Another said, if all Jews or Kalu like making cry blood, we evils reject you any precedence. Another said, this is exactly what you get after betraying your brother. Keep weeping till tomorrow. Another said, if this country could make you cry like a baby, imagine what the common masses are passing through from the hands of you and other lovemakers. Another said, you never start to weep. You and your cohorts who have constantly betrayed the Igbo nation and put your personal interests first. This one, Nashege Banza. Another said, they must have done something to him that made him cry like a child. Another said, why do I feel this guy don't chop money too, then go soon carry him? Another said, this one, they fear arrest, as I don't touch CBN governor. Another said, you never see anything, sir. They play. Another said, the way you people have been treating all the poor masses, is it fair? Now you are crying. We, now daily we decry our own shaggy banza. Another said, this one, a format. You never see anything. Another said, we need to keep building bridges. You never even start your own bridge. They cry. Another said, if you cry too much, definitely reveal that forgiveness. So, what did you do for Abia State? Okay, so those are some of the comments that trailed the crying of Senator Oji Uzokalu, who said Nigeria has been very unfair to him, that the people he helped turned against him, and that he spent his own money which he has made a lot of before coming into um, politics. That's um, being one of the founding members of PDP and that, you know, all sorts of things. We know that, you know, it was aiming to become the Senate president, but that definitely is not the case anymore.
What's your opinion on this? When, in quotes, a big man like this could be crying and Nigeria is not fair to him. Honestly, what should the poor masses do? Let's hear your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. So our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day and bye for now.